Hello the internet! It is Sunday the 18th of February 2018. I recently received a bunch of comments on my Seabeast Pro N1 full face snorkel mask, this video right here. And aside from the comments that were directed at Felicia, of which there was many, there was also a pretty intense, let's call them intense, set of comments from Locra or Locra. So I just want to read you a few straight off the bat. This one here. First of all, it's obvious you have nothing to do with water, okay? You're a weak swimmer, you don't feel the water, never was, and you are one of those people who just test something wrong and blame the product. Well, I don't have to, I don't have to argue with you with that because you obviously don't know who I am, so we'll just ignore that. Look how loose the mask is at 918. Also, it is obvious because the mask is loose, the water is leaking at 542. I'm having the same mask, perfect. I intentionally blew hot air in to test the fogging. It's gone within seconds. You must adjust the mask and put the bottom of the mask under your chin. Then you must adjust the tightness and where you position the mask according to your face, not just flap it loose and then OMG, it's not working for me. Same with swimming goggles. You adjust them based on your skull and eyes and you tighten the band, not just pour, pour them on, not just put them on, that was a typo, uh, with loose band and then complain it doesn't work. I have thousands of people who have 0% swimming experience complaining for the same thing. Okay, nice comment there, Locra. I replied with this guy. Thanks again, Locra. So here's a challenge for you. Reply to this comment with a step-by-step -step detailed walkthrough of what I should do in order to have this mask not fog up and I'll make a video doing what you suggest. The reason I've said thanks again is because he'd also made similar comments on many of my other snorkel videos. So then he replied with this, I sense irony here, but nevertheless, it might be useful for others. That's exactly what the comment section is great for. Take the correct size for you. Put the mask on dry land and see if the mask is fogging. It should not fog if the right size is there. If it fogs, take a smaller size. Your head is not for the XL size. The area around the mouth should not allow air from the breathing to go into the vision area. If it does, need a smaller size. Do you think the manufacturers willingly be selling a mask that fogs? I do not think so. Make sure the bottom of the mask is under your chin. Make sure no hair is going inside the sealed area. Adjust the bands like a serious man, not just flapping them and go dive. It takes time to adjust the correct mask position at the beginning. Like goggles, you don't just put them on. You adjust them to the shape of your eyes and skull before swimming. Okay, so to break that down, definitely no irony in my comment. I wanted you to do this, Locra, so that I could follow it step by step and show you exactly how this works. So I still have the mask right here. This is the Pro N1 from Sea Beast. I'm gonna go back down to a beach here in Jarvis Bay and we're gonna test these theories. So the first one he says is put the mask on on dry land and see if it fogs. So we'll do that. It should not fog if the right size is there. Well, I'm just gonna say, Locra, this is where you might be slightly wrong. This was the size that Sea Beast provided for me based on my size. The measurement taken from here to here off their website, off their sizing chart is a large to XL, which is what this is. So I'm sorry if, if you think that's wrong, but that's directly off the manufacturer's website. Um, the area around the mouth should not allow air from the breathing to go into the same area. Oh, he's saying so when it sits over here, you shouldn't get any air up here. It should only be in this area. Okay, we'll try that. If it does, you need a smaller size. We've already been over that. Uh, do you think the manufacturer willingly be selling a mask that fogs? I don't think so, and neither do I. Make sure the bottom of your mask is under your chin. Make sure no hair is going into the sealed area. Make sure no hair is going into the sealed area. Am I hearing that correctly? Are you saying I need to shave? Adjust the bands like a serious man, not just flapping them and go dive. It takes time to adjust the correct mask position at the beginning. Like goggles, you don't just put them on, you adjust them to the shape of your eyes and skull before swimming. Well, thanks very much, Locker, for making those comments. Let's take the Sea Beast Pro N1 back to a beautiful location in Jarvis Bay and put your theories to the test. So I've literally come back to the exact same spot. Unfortunately, this time there's no Felicia. She's back in Germany. The very first thing that Locker said is put the mask on dry land and see if it fogs. I'm going to take that to mean I think he means put the mask on me on dry land not just put it on on dry land and wait because that's I think he wrote that incorrectly I think he means put the mask on my face out of the water and see if it fogs up. Pretty tight.
I'm breathing normally like I would be if I was talking, which I am talking. You can see how tight these steps are. I'm breathing a combination of out of my mouth and out of my nose. So there's, there's, there's air coming in, it's coming up here, it's coming back down. Okay, I think that's... I think that's a pretty thorough test, right? You could see that there is still some fogging up going on there. So while we're here as well, I'll just show you that I kind of overlooked this on the previous review. This GoPro or action cam mount actually clicks in here. You can see that little, uh, little slot there where it sits in. I think last time Felicia and I just had it sort of sitting up here willy-nilly, but it actually slides all the way down and then it clicks in. Another thing that Locra said was that you need to have the mask sitting on your chin and there should be no hair preventing a good seal. Now I think I've covered that. There's gonna be no hair preventing a seal here. He then said to adjust the bands, I think he means the straps, like a serious man. Now I'm always a serious man. I joke around a lot, but I did this correctly last time. But just to make sure Locra, I'm gonna tighten these even further for you. Very simple. You pull them like that, and you see it getting smaller on this side and getting longer on that side. I'll do this one for you as well. Now this is gonna be extremely tight. Look how long, look how long the ends are. Look how small the gap is. I'll put this back on and we'll see how tight this thing is. All right, that is super, super tight. That's ridiculously tight. All right, Locra, that is the best this is gonna get. Now, of course, a uh, snorkel test wouldn't be complete without going in the water. So I'm gonna take your recommendations. We're gonna get in the water. We're gonna see what happens. Uh, I'm sorry man, Locker, this thing is fogging up like crazy. You can see this, right? I've tried all the things that you've suggested, man, and it's just fogging up like absolute crazy. All right, Locker, I'm not doing anything wrong here. The Sea Beast Pro N1 fogs up a little. I do appreciate your comments and I appreciate you stopping by my channel and giving your suggestions. Thank you very much. Now I do have something that's gonna interest you though. Another product from Sea Beast. One second. So this guy right here is the Sea Beast AF90 and I'm not going to give any prizes if you can guess what AF stands for. It stands for anti-fog. The baggage is slightly different to the uh, Pro N1. It's got a little Velcro here. Slide the little bugger out. Here's the user manual. I should be reading this as well. This is the real anti-fog version. I'll read that in a second. Let's get the little bugger out first. There's been a few differences with this model from the Pro N1. And one of the big differences is it has a foldable snorkel. I'm looking at this now thinking, I guess that just snaps into place right there. Now that's without even looking at the manual, without even seeing this before. Isn't that cool? Just lifts up, lifts over and folds down. That's pretty sweet. Now in here, what have we got? A GoPro action mount. I haven't seen this version before. Let's have a look at this. Ah, it comes with earplugs. To all those givers out there who've said, why don't you just wear earplugs and you'll never have to equalize. I'm gonna let you know something. Earplugs don't change the pressure in the water when you go underneath. These are simply for not letting water get into your ear because sometimes people get water draining straight in their ear canals and it's not very pleasant. Now I won't use those because I don't mind a bit of water in my ear. I just get it back out. Now let's have a look at this. This is your standard GoPro slider on her. I'm gonna hazard a guess and say this guy goes on first. Like this. Maybe. Maybe I've got that all wrong. I'm gonna read the manual. Ah, okay, so it looks like they want you to have the 
mount already attached to the action cam mount. You know the little GoPro screw, so you want to put that in there. And then, it looks like it just slides on over the top. So you got a little catching mechanism here with a little latch there. Put that over the top, and it looks like it just slides on. And there, bam, you just kind of, you kind of just push it on. Now I guess to get that back off, you probably just lift it back up. Oh yeah. That's not the greatest implementation of a action cam mount. I prefer the other one, which went on there. Now obviously there'd be a, a problem there with this. Either way, what I'll do is I'll leave this off because I'm not going to use it. But I want to talk to you about how this thing's anti-fog. Now what I understand from asking the manufacturer, Seabeast, how they've made this thing anti-fog is that the mask itself has been treated with an anti-fog liquid coating. Now that's all I could get from the manufacturer. I don't know exactly what that coating is or how it's applied or how it works or, but that's what they're saying. It's got a specially treated mask with an anti-fog liquid coating. Of course, the only way to test it is to try it and get in the water. I want to also point out that it has thicker and softer straps than the previous model, the Pro N1. Let's take this guy off and let's put this thing on and go for a snorkel porkel. I'm gonna tighten these little buggers up super tight. I wanna make sure that this is a very thorough and very genuine review because that's gonna help everybody that wants to purchase. By the way, if you do wanna purchase, please use the links in the description of this video. I do get a kickback there. It's an, aff an affiliate link through Amazon. If you like what I do here on the channel and you wanna help support me, that's a way to do it. The other ways would be Patreon, maker support. Also, comments. Comments help. Just make a comment. That's all I need. Let's go for a snorkel. Talk about this wow, this thing really, really, really works. I mean, look, there's no fog on that at all. I was out there for close to 30 minutes. I cannot fault this thing. I'm out of breath, as you can tell from my, my labored speech. That's a fault with these masks in general. When you breathe in the oxygen, you breathe out the carbon dioxide. You do that too long and you hyperventilate. So about half an hour is, I guess that's sort of maximum time you'd want to be using one of these for. The vision on this was crystal clear. We saw the little stingray, saw the little, what are those little, I think they're whiting those fish. Visibility is a little bit How's your uncle out there? There's been a little bit of seaweed around and there's a lot of rain lately, so. This is one of the only masks like this that hasn't fogged up. Well, actually the only mask of a full face snorkel mask design that hasn't fogged up for me. I think the GoPro mount's a little bit strange, but I really enjoy this. That makes packing down and not losing it super cool. That's a great, great little addition. The uh, anti-fog is phenomenal. It worked the entire time. You might have seen some water coming in off my, off the top here and it's running down my face or the front of the mask. When that gathered in this section down here, all I had to do was come up onto the surface and just tilt my head back and the water just came straight out of there. It, it's, I know that's how they should work and that's how they all say they work, but this guy, the Sea Beast AF90, actually does work. I've just gone for another quick porkel snorkel and there is a massive ray there, a big black ray. Let's grab the GoPro and go and have a quick look at it. Oh, that's um, we're out of time! Manta ray. Oh, now that's um, I ran out of time again on my vlog. If you like what you've seen on my channel, please hit the subscribe button. If you want to support me even further, become a Patreon. Also check out my previous vlog and a random vlog. Don't forget my Lightroom presets, my merch store, and all the other good things that I've got for you in the description of this video. Has that been 20 seconds? Yes, it has!